Sometimes you got to learn that, you know, what you think's your best, you know, we can still push it, and that's life, you know, so you never stop doing that. But that, that's what we're looking for. In a nutshell, that's what we're looking for. Let's go, my boy. Uh-huh. Uh, we're going to switch it one day. One day. How much yards you finna rush for in this team period? Hundred plus. How many you got, JB? What? How many rush yards you about to go for? I don't know. We'll see. You trying to get a hundred? What? First game? I'm talking about in this team period. Oh. Yeah. That'd be sick if we did the Wildcat. <laughs> oh, that's it, dude. I was three back there. I was three back there. We do the Wildcat with that thing. Can you throw, though? Oh. You. Yeah. Come on, man. You can throw? <laughs> can you throw? You can throw that thing? He can throw? He, he got a cannon. Oh, word. If I was over six foot, I'd probably be quarterback. For real. Donovan McNabb type dude. <laughs> <laughs> I know you can throw. You. <laughs> I already know you can throw. Cuz, bro, I seen you throw. <laughs> Let's go, JB! That was smooth. That was an accident. That was an accident. bring an experienced guy in that uh, has played college football at a high level and uh, done it for several years and been extremely productive doing it. We, we just felt like that was an obvious and an easy decision. Uh, probably more important in the decision-making process is we, we saw a young man that, uh, that really fit our team and our culture and how we do things. And uh, we did a lot of research. We knew him uh, going back to high school. And frankly, we probably should have recruited him. He's a guy that we wish would have been in our program for the last three years, but we've got him here now. He's making the most of that opportunity and uh, doing the best he can every day to make up for lost time. Well, obviously, Akram has, has had quite a uh, journey in his career. He's, he's gone from the outhouse uh, to the penthouse, and uh, he's a guy that had a hard time securing the ball as a young guy, uh, but has really developed into an excellent football player and a big part of our offense and our football team. And uh, to see him grow into that role, role has been very rewarding. We've had a lot of fun watching him and coaching him and being with him. And uh, he's a guy that's done a lot of work to get to where he's at. Uh, certainly, we expect him to continue with, with his level of high play. Uh, but we're not so worried about production or numbers or what exactly he's doing. Uh, really, our focus right now, and I know his focus is the same thing, uh, can he be a great teammate? Um, can he be a big leader on our football team? Can he help us? 
push this thing forward and win football games. And uh, so far what we've seen out of Akram would, would lead us to believe that uh, he's doing all those things uh, on the field, uh, but, but even more importantly behind the scenes off the field with young guys, with new guys, uh, helping bring people along. So we're really pleased with where he's at and excited to watch him this season. Season. Let's get it. As a senior leader on this team, um, there's a lot of things I got to look for. There's a lot of things I got to realize, and a lot of mistakes I got to um, I got to cut down. I got to watch out from. You know, um, a few years ago, I had I had the um, privilege to, to to be behind guys like Lashawn Daniels, Mark Mark Wiseman, you know, Jordan Kinzeri. Those guys were great leaders, and um, this my this is my fifth year, my last year, and um, it's just some things I gotta um, do what they taught me, you know, like cutting down mental mistakes and teaching the young guys, you know, Ivory, uh, Keyshawn, um, I got Marcel, Tokes, Torrin, they th those guys are looking up to me um, along with the fullback, the line, the team. Um, I wanna, I feel like um, I wanna be the best best player I can be. This is my last year, and. Um, you know, we got the best line in the nation. You know, last year we got the best line and we still, the whole old line returning, I want to be the best back in the nation. We got, we, it's a lot of backs that that, that can um, bring different things to the table as far as production. And um, James Butler coming in from Nevada, um, contributing 1,300 yards um, back to back seasons over there. Um, he definitely can, he, he definitely can come in and produce and um, help us out on offense. Um, so far, what I see from him, he's very elusive. Um, he 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 speed. He got speed, and and he got power. Now um, the thing is about James that that I like so far about him is that um, off the field he he's a great guy. He he's not like he's not arrogant. You know you know I know a lot of guys that that probably if they they accomplish what he accomplished they'd be a little arrogant. They'd be a little cocky. But he's a great guy. Um, great personality. Um, he don't. He doesn't say too much. Um, kind of, kind of remind me of Lashawn Daniels. But um, he's he, he's just a good guy. He's a good guy to get along with. And I feel like both of us bringing you know different, similar games, but a lot of different different things to the table. We we can produce and um, help the team. Well, yeah, I really enjoy the way Act you know attacks practice, and, and and the way he just he carries himself at practice. You know, you can. You can tell he's a, the guy that's been here for for a while. You know he's made cuts in practice that I've never seen before, to be honest. You know, so I feel like I can really learn a lot from Mac. So, so seeing him, you know, step up as a leader, I know, and uh, and just taking over that that leadership role, the the running back position group, and I and I really respect that from Mac and him being so helping, knowing that you know that I'm a new guy that you know some plays I might still you know be formulating what, what the play might be, but, you know, he's able to help me out, you know, with all that. Now I'm excited to be here, man. I feel like a, a little kid in a, in a candy store, man. I finally got, you know, that, that, that golden ticket. Yeah, I'm excited. I saw that the, the offensive line last year won the, the Jim Moore Award, and I actually live with two of them. I live with James Daniels and, and Boom Myers, so that's also been nice, you know, living with those guys and building the a great relationship with those guys. But yeah, just seeing how those guys go to work every single day, you know, I, I know that it takes a different type of athlete, a different type of man to be an offensive lineman and I have the utmost respect for those guys. You know, those are my those are my boys, you know. Without those guys, you know, I'm nothing. You know, the running backs on the team is really nothing. All the offense doesn't move without offensive line and and of course the fullbacks. It's nice having a, a fullback back, you know. You know, uh, Drake Kulik, Brady Ross, and, and, and Austin Kelly. You know, those guys have those guys have really you know done a, a great job. And I, I haven't had a fullback since high school, so it's been kind of weird, you know, having to, to run behind somebody again. But you know, those guys really put the work in. Man, it takes it takes a different type of man to be an offensive lineman, and it takes an even different type of man to be a fullback. Cause you know, I was talking to James about this last night. He was like, Yeah, you know, like I hit guys from two yards away, but fullbacks coming, you know, this like a 10-yard, 
difference and they're just making a collision after collision after collision and it's and it's all for their for their backs and for the team you know and and I, res I have the utmost respect for those full backs and that's why you know when I try to go out there and I and I'm and I'm obligated to block you know I want to give it everything I got because I know every single play that you know those guys are going to give everything they got so I just I got to prove to myself and prove to them that you know that that, that I'm worthy you know of you know giving their best effort man you know I I know people get caught up with you know a lot of my my stats of you know the two 1300 yard seasons and the over 3000 yards uh rushing you know, over the last 3 years and and all that all that's nice you know I, I worked hard and I, you know I accept that but you know, I still don't feel like that that really that really you know goes into depth about like my effort and my heart cuz you know I've I've only heard for so long that you know, I'm not the biggest, you know, I'm not the strongest, I'm not the fastest, you know, I'm not the home run hitter guy. I'm also not the slash, I'm kind of like a like an in-betweener. But you know, like if you just go watch the tape, you can see that, you know, my efforts out there that whatever whatever the coach needs me to do, if I need to run down on kickoff and and, and go break a wedge, I'm gonna go do that. And just if you need, you know, like a, a just, you've got a guy with a with a big heart and who's here, for, you know, for the betterment of the team and not individually. You know, I've always wanted to play for Iowa, you know, this is this is personal, you know, it's close to home, you know, my family's going to be in every game, so it, it, it's more than just a game and just being able to play at the Big Ten level, it's, it, it, it's just like, I, I feel like I've always wanted to be here, it's really come full circle and that, and that, that's really special to me. Emmett Smith? Emmett Smith. What? You think he better than uh, Bo Jackson? If there was Bo? Bo Jackson. You, you. Who, me? At Nevada? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh. Who you got? Who you got? Walter Payton. Walter Payton. That's my boy. He was a dog. That was my boy. He was a dog. What about you, Bo? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, I don't know. I think I like Barry too. Barry? Yeah, I'm him. back here with he's, you. He's number two on my list. Barry, yeah. Man, that's a perfect punt. Easy money, easy. That's that easy food, good food, good child. Good child. So my first one, that was a warm up. Savage season. Peter, 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 Peter. Cause it's a Peter. What's the? Was it Peter? It's a Peter, Peter. That's, a, that's how. That's how. That's how I know you don't do this. Let's go, ease. Let's go, ease. Let's go, ease. Easy money. Let's go, Noah. Let's go, Noah. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Let's go. Easy money. Hey, five can't cover you, man. He can't cover you. Let's go, Phelps. Let's go, Phil! Let's go! <laughs> Easy money, Falk! Let's go, baby! <laughs> Easy money! Easy money! Easy child! Yeah! Man, we on fire today! <laughs> 